All right, here we go. We're at the trailhead. That's Mount Shasta. You can see right up the route to the top. Well, we're up above tree line now. It's a little ways up above horse camp. A little above 8,000 feet, I think. Horse camp is right down there. I think I'm at about 9,000 now or so. It's hard to tell in this terrain. You can see the tree line and horse camp down there. Pretty moonscapey up here. You can't see the summit. But you can see a couple of people slogging away up that hill. I am taking a break. We are at our lunch break. Say hi to the camera, everybody. Hi, camera. Where are we? About 9,300, 9,400, something like that. That's where we came from. I'm pretending I'm filming here. What I'm really doing is taking a break. This is a long trudge up this snow slope just below Helen Lake. So this is home for the night. Todd's got himself a nice little windbreak here. A couple stoves cooking water right there. Ignore those people, they're not with us. <laughs> That's Doug's tent right there. That's where I'm sleeping. Ileana and Lauren are in there right now, taking my napping space. <laughs> and that is the route up the mountain tomorrow. The sun is pretty much setting. It is getting very cold up here. Got a little ISAC seminar going on down there. And up there is where we're going. It's about four. All geared up. Ready to go. The people are getting ready. There's Doug packing up. And it's about time to start walking. So what time is it? About quarter to five? We're a little ways up the uh, snow slope above camp. There's Todd. Oh. 5.30. Take a little break on this rock here. See some people coming up. You might be able to see Helen Light Camp. There's up the hill. Those kind of crenellated cliffs right there, the red banks. We get up in there, we turn right. Thought I'd give you a little sense of the rhythm of walking up a hill. So you have three points of contact, ice axe, two feet. And you want two points on the snow at all times. So it's step, axe, step, step, X, step, X, step, X, over, and over, and over. So I'm at a transition point here. Right up there is the red cliffs. Just to the right of that is the heart. And the trail there goes to the right of the heart. I am in the red banks. About 12,500 feet. I gotta get up through there. And then it gets a lot less steep. You can see I, my pack is trapped in my ice axe so it doesn't go flying down the hill. So I'm up top of the red banks. About 12.7. Just came up through this little chute right here. It's probably a little steeper than I needed to do, but it was fun. And that is the final summit push. Taking another little break. 
about 13,200, maybe halfway, third of the way up Misery Hill. You can see that person up there. That's where I'm headed. That's the top of Misery Hill. And cross over that ridge line. And you're at the summit. All right, I made the summit plateau. That little hill right there is the last summit push. A little windy up here. That's the direction I came from. That's what confronts me. So, I'm not on the top. Close though. And it's still early, plenty of time. Well, that is the last couple hundred feet to the summit. And I have decided not to do it. One, it looks a little hairy. Two, I'm tired. Three, I am alone. So this is the real summit plateau. Well, I had said I wasn't going to come up here to the summit, but I did anyway. And I'm glad I did. Some climbers came by, showed me the way. Todd was up here, helped me out. Here's another panorama from the summit. It's looking east, north, up into Oregon. West. South. There goes Todd down the hill. Lauren's still gearing up. Dan head down already? Come down off the summit there. There's a very nice glacier right here. Anybody know what that glacier is called? Is that Wickham? Still headed down off the summit. I'm amazed that we are above all of this. That would be Misery Hill. But we're going down this time. We're about halfway down now. Here's Todd. And there's the Red Banks. We've got to get down through those chutes somewhere. So we're back at camp. Ileana's in a sleeping bag, even though it's a million degrees out here for some reason. Does it? Yeah. Insulated against the heat. Chris just got back, and he's uh, effing done, I believe is what he said. And there's the last of our summiters staggering into camp. You're just going to jump into the tent and crash. <laughs> Take your crampons off before you get in the tent. <laughs> and she's out. That took about 3.2 seconds. 